Welcome back to the channel where we explore, learn, and theorize about the Marvel Universe. Today I'll be explaining why Venom is the sixth member of the Sinister Six. Now let's get started. There was no news yesterday. Trust me, I looked. But there wasn't really anything interesting or worthy of a video. So even though I've talked about this before in other videos and on stream, I felt like it could be its own video. I assume that every one of you saw the trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home. And in that trailer, we saw Electro, Sandman, the Lizard, Dr. Octopus, and the Green Goblin. But as the name Sinister Six implies, there are six members, which means we're missing one. And I think it's Tom Hardy's Venom. Now before I explain why, let's get the rest of the villains out of the way. This is the Lizard. I know some people have said that it could be Mac Gargan, aka Scorpion, who's been teased in Spider-Man Homecoming, but hasn't really done anything since then. Others have stated that this looks like Venom. And to be honest, a valid argument can be made for all three. There were previously rumors that Scorpion would try to kill Peter, and an explosion would knock him out of a window, breaking his back. And then later, he would get a mech suit to help him move. And this was seemingly confirmed by a Lego set, which shows a large Scorpion mech suit attacking Peter and his friends in the Sanctum Sanctorum. So should Venom not be the sixth member, Scorpion is the next most likely candidate. And like I said, the other character people are claiming this could be is Venom himself. And if you pause the video and look at the character at just the right moment, it does sort of resemble Venom. He's got the large chest and swipes a clawed hand similar to Venom's, but this at least is not either one of them. And we can differentiate them by the tail and roar. So basically this was just a longer way for me to say that this is the Lizard, not Venom or Scorpion. The next character people are claiming the sixth member of the Sinister Six could be is Mysterio. And while it would be cool to see Jake Gyllenhaal return as Mysterio and be part of the team, you have to remember that No Way Home picks up immediately after Far From Home. And it doesn't make sense to me at least for Mysterio to fake his death, reveal Spider-Man's identity, and then pop back up a few minutes later saying, nope, it's okay, I'm fine. Not to mention that the court scene and Peter asking Doctor Strange to wipe everyone's memories of him being Spider-Man seem to take place quite a while after his identity has been revealed, meaning that Mysterio hasn't come back. And finally, it's most likely not the Vulture either, as Michael Keaton's Adrian Toomes was last seen in the trailer for Morbius. And it's definitely not Paul Giamatti's Rhino, as he only got a small scene before The Amazing Spider-Man 2 ended, and we didn't even see Andrew Spidey fight him. Also, I don't think that anyone's anxiously awaiting the return of Giamatti's Rhino. So I think that Tom Hardy's Venom is the final member of the Sinister Six for a few reasons. First, we know that there is a plan to connect the Marvel Cinematic Universe to Sony's Spider-Man Universe, and that it's gonna happen soon. It's technically already started, as we're getting Alfred Molina's Dr. Octopus, the villain from Spider-Man 2, and Jamie Foxx's Electro, the villain from The Amazing Spider-Man 2 in No Way Home. Sandman, the Lizard, and the Green Goblin will also most likely be played by Thomas Hayden Church, Risa Fons, and Willem Dafoe respectively meaning that all five major villains from the five previous movies are returning. Second, it's been rumored for months that Tom Holland will cameo in Venom Let There Be Carnage. And while it's only a rumor at this point, should Peter appear in Venom 2 for whatever reason, it would start setting up the character's connection. And it wouldn't be as shocking for viewers when Venom later appears in No Way Home. I also know that this doesn't confirm anything, but in the Apple TV exclusive behind the scenes of the newest Venom Let There Be Carnage trailer, they showed concept art for the movie, and if you zoom in on the tabs, you can see that the artist George Evangelista is working on Venom vs. Spider-Man art in the second tab. Also, Sony's president Sanford Panitz stated that the plan to connect the two universes would be revealed after Spider-Man No Way Home. And Tom Hardy recently stated that should both studios be willing, he wants to do Venom vs. Spider-Man in Venom 3. And lastly, it doesn't matter that Venom is currently an anti-hero because both Dr. Octopus and Sandman had redemption arcs in their movies. Doc Ock sacrifices life in Spider-Man 2 to protect everyone, and we learn that Sandman didn't mean to kill Uncle Ben, and the only reason he was even a criminal was to pay for his daughter's cancer treatment. And in the end, Peter forgives him and he flies off as a cloud of sand. So there's already two other villains that weren't exactly heroes, but they were no longer bad either. And now in the trailer we've seen that at least Doc Ock is back to his evil ways. In this shot, it kinda looks like Sandman is protecting Peter from Electro, but it's unconfirmed. So we'll have to wait for the movie to truly know what's happening, cause maybe they are both attacking him, but the trailer makes it look different. Anyways, you understand my point. They were good but now they're bad again. And I think this has something to do with the spell that Doctor Strange cast. It didn't just break the multiverse and bring the villains to our Earth, but it made them evil again. So assuming that the spell brought Venom to the MCU, it could explain why he teams up with the Sinister Six, and why he'll go on to rematch Spidey in Venom 3. There was also new footage of Venom 2 played at CinemaCon, which showed a separated Venom fall through Eddie's apartment ceiling. Venom is visibly frustrated and says, you said I could be a bad guy, 
and then he bites the tire hanging from the roof. Venom and Eddie begin to fight, resulting in Eddie punching the symbiote, who in turn, slams Eddie up against the roof. And this could also be how we get Black Suit Spider-Man, or even Anti-Venom in the MCU, as we know that Martin Lee and Feast will play a small role in Spider-Man No Way Home. But let me know what you guys think about all this. Do you think there's any chance that Venom is the final member of the Sinister Six, or do you think it's someone else like Mysterio or Scorpion? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you'll never miss another video. Thanks for watching, and remember to wash your hands and stay safe.